Everyone knows what ChatGPT is, the viral AI that answers anything, but can we use it to find winning print-on-demand niches? That's what you're gonna find out in this video. Let's start simple and just ask it, give me the best print-on-demand t-shirt niches for 2023. Alright, here is difficult to predict specific niches that will be popular in 2023 as trends and interests change over time, which is true, no one can predict a trend. But we also got some kinda evergreen niches like fitness, gaming and esports, travel. So now I'm thinking why not we ask this AI what's the most popular hobbies in 2023 cause when it's popular this means more traffic and high traffic leads to good sales. Ok we got the same thing it's difficult to predict blah blah but however some hobbies that have been gaining popularity in recent years and may continue to see growth in 2023 include alright we got something. Gardening with more people spending time at home due to the pandemic many have turned to gardening as a way to connect with nature. We also got baking, cooking and yoga. Now let's say you you wanna work on this yoga niche for example, you will of course need a sub niche, you can't just work on the general niche. If you look at the competition on Redbubble, there is 400,000 results, a really big amount of designs. But don't worry, you're gonna use ChatGPT to get the sub niches that have much lower results. Let's try asking, write me 5 funny yoga quotes in 5 words for example. And here you go, namaste in bed, yoga bend don't break, yoga just breathe ignore. But you're asking yourself now how you can know if people are actually looking for these quotes to buy a design about them, you don't want to design for a niche that nobody's looking for. So let's take for example namaste in bed and let's use keyword planner to make sure that there is traffic for this quote. I will just paste the quote namaste in bed like this and make sure you choose United States and press on get results. And as you can see the average monthly searches are between 100 and 1000 searches which is really good. And by the way to create a keyword planner account it's so simple just google keyword planner and click on the first results then click on this go to keyword planner then press yes here and that's it you're good to go click on this discover keywords. Now this quote namaste in bed is really good in terms of traffic but we should check the competition also or a bubble before we design. So just paste the quote here and you can see there is over 2000 results. It's way lower than 400,000 in the general yoga niche but still 2000 is a lot. But I'm just gonna check this first shops if they are selling on this niche. I'm just curious if this AI actually gave us an actual selling niche. Let's open a couple of designs, this one and this. Okay this first shop with only 3 designs and 2000 favorites. Well that's really good if you ask me. And also this second shop from 2016 and Namaste in bed design is his top 4 bestseller and the shop with almost 9000 favorites. Now let's go back to chat GPT and pick another quote to see the traffic. Let's take for example Bendy not skinny. And that's a pretty bad traffic so I'm just gonna make chat GPT give me more quotes and see what's gonna happen. So after a while of typing I started to get the same quotes and sayings again and again. I believe that the yoga niche doesn't have a lot of no copyrighted quotes cause here ChatGPT gave me some copyrighted quotes as you can see, the owner's names. So I'm not really sure, let's try another evergreen niche like fitness and let's type for example write me sub niches for the fitness niche. Ok we got weightlifting, bodybuilding, crossfit, yoga again, this yoga niche is following me. Anyways we got some other sub niches, let's take crossfit for example and let's type this this time write me 8 phrases about crossfit in 8 words or less. And let's take this first one, push beyond limits to see the traffic on keyword planner. Alright not a bad traffic, now let's check Redbubble results. And it's 200, really good. And not all of them are actually designing for the exact quote, you can see this design, push yourself beyond your limits or push your limits, so they are not exactly the phrase. Now let's google this phrase and see the results. Alright you can see this is a Redbubble design here and also this one still in this SVG design and remember 100 people are searching this exact phrase each month and there is not a lot of competition so that's really good. And there is another idea to get sub niches that are selling using Amazon this time so let's look for jobs in chat GPT instead of hobbies let's simply write newest jobs of 2023. And here you go let's take the first one data analyst and paste it on the Amazon search bar so we can find sub niches that are selling. Just make sure to have this extension I'll link it in description it allows you to see the BSR so you can know if the t-shirt is selling or not. Now let's scroll down and just keep looking like this design data analyst definition 1 million BSR not too bad and more than 30 reviews that's insane if you ask me cause 10% of the buyers leave a review that's my average in my merch account so this design sold at least 200 times. Let's Let's now check the competition Redbubble for this niche, just paste it here and that's crazy, only 200 results, that's pretty good. Now let's sort by best selling and see if these designs are actually selling, just open the first read 
designs and go to the shop like this. And this first shop, his top 3 best seller is this niche. He have almost 2000 designs. So out of 2000, one of his best sellers is data analyst definition. Plus he have 13,000 favorites. We got a really good niche here. Next shop have 16,000 designs and our niche is like in the top 20 out of 16,000. Just can you imagine that? I guess this guy is using like automation cause he have a lot of definition designs. However, if you also check this niche on Keyword Planner, there is a crazy monthly traffic, like from 100 to 1000 searches every month. And with this low result Redbubble like 200, there is a really good chance to sell. Of course, if you have a great design idea that is different from this other results. Now let's take another example like mental health professional, why not? Same thing, search on Amazon and you can see a good sign, people are looking to buy a shirt in this niche, so click this. And just scroll down and keep looking for a potential sub niche like this, a broken crying still color, great BSR of 400,000, and 36 reviews. You know the 10% thing? This shirt has been sold at least 300 times. Now let's check the results Redbubble. Alright, 300 results, really good amount of results again. Let's also check if there is any sales going on here. Let's open some couple of shops. First shop, okay, the design is here, not bad, cause she have 3000 favorites. Next shop, our niche is the second bestseller, pretty good. And we can check keyword planner to see the traffic. Well, now that's a lot of traffic. 10,000 people searching for this exact phrase every month. A Redbubble got only 300 results. That's a perfect niche if you ask me. And it took us like, what, 2 minutes to find it. And the best part is, if you go back to Amazon, you will find ton of sub niches related to the job that ChatGPT gave us. Like, there is over 5,000 results. You can at least came up with 100 sub niche in here. And if you do that with every niche ChatGPT will give you, you're gonna find a limited print on demand niches and the best part is they are evergreen niches they gonna keep selling for the next 5 years at least. Now let's take another niche from ChatGPT and show you the whole process from finding the sub niche on Amazon and designing and finally uploading Redbubble with the help of ChatGPT to get the tags and description. Alright let's take this healthcare professional and paste it on Amazon search and same thing you scroll down and look for a potential sub niche like this real superheroes wear scrubs good BSR of 600,000 and 46 reviews. Now you simply check the results Redbubble and that's really good, 50 results. And also if you want you can check on Keyword Planner like this, 10 to 100 monthly searches, pretty good again compared to the results. Now the next step is designing for the niche. I will be using Photoshop so the resolution is 4500 by 5400. So I will make the same style of this design, it's selling good so why not? I guess people like the nurse unicorn so let's get a nurse unicorn graphic from Creative Fabrica. Just type for example unicorn nurse and choose whatever graphic you want. I will get this one cause I'm thinking to replace this text with a part of the niche. And by the way you can download for free on Creative Fabrica if you use my link in description you will get a free trial. And you have the commercial usage allowed you will have no problem using any graphic just make sure to edit the design don't just download it and upload it the exact same so just drag the graphic on photoshop and now let's type the text real first then i will change the font to this one next we type superheroes and we change the font to this bold one and also the color to red try to take colors from the graphics that you are using so the design can look really clean now i will do a little effect between real and superheroes to look even better i will select real and expand the selection to like 25 sounds good and then right click on the second text superheroes and rasterize it then click delete on your keyboard and as you can see this little effect here finally type wear scrubs and wrap the text with the arc effect like this and change the color to some color from the graphic and before I show you how to upload this design to Redbubble with the right keywords, make sure to subscribe for more print on demand tutorials. Let's start with the title. I always type the phrase in my design and add the target audience or the holiday in case I'm working on an event. But here we're working on healthcare professionals, especially a nurse design. So let's type real superheroes with scrubs nursing. And Redbubble will automatically add t-shirts, so no need to add that. Next for the tags, let's ask ChatGPT to give us some tags related to a nursing t-shirt. Write me, tell long tell keywords for a t-shirt about nursing. Alright we got something, let's take this nursing student and paste it and this new nurse graduate, I like this one. And also let's take this mental health nursing. And look at this small paragraph by incorporating this long tail keywords in your t-shirt title description and tags you can increase the chances of your t-shirt appearing in search results. This AI knows exactly what we're doing. 
Let's get more tags by typing this time write me 10 long tail keywords for a t-shirt about mental health professional so I changed nursing to mental health professional. And let's take this new mental health professional graduate. To get more tags just keep playing with the prompt let's ask this time write me 10 long tags about nursing for a t-shirt. And don't forget to check the copyright and trademark sometimes you get risky keywords so be careful of that. Anyway that's my tags for now you can also get tags from the competition from the best sellers or in Amazon from that same design you found. Now for description I will type on chat GPT write me a description for this nursing t-shirt saying and paste your niche. Alright this look like a really good description with good keywords and this is it you made your listing. Now if you wanna know how to promote your designs on TikTok make sure to watch this video next.